Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 13. On the last episode, we are running around at night, and on this one, I hope to open a box. Yes, it is day four, which according to standard settings means that this is an airdrop day, so should be happening, oh, right now, actually, except I'm not really hearing anything. Oh, there it is. There's the plane in the distance there. Guess it's a good thing I was headed this direction because I still don't actually hear it, and I probably shouldn't stop for this um get rid of you and take you sure good let's go i would actually like to find this drop today and i don't know that that's going to happen just looking at how far away that is that's pretty far away and that's a big hole in the ground that i thought alpha 13.6 was supposed to fix apparently not i need more stamina okay i'm trying to keep that sucker straight down the crosshair pretty much Pretty much. Not entirely. Uh, this is going to be a problem if I can find it because I'm going to have no inventory space for pretty much anything it may contain. And I have some other things I would like to do today aside from opening a box. And I need some more inventory space to be able to do any of those things. Oh, man. All right. I don't want to just chug too much water here because, um, well, I don't want to fill up just in case I need a moment where uh, I might need to just chug some in a pinch. So I like to leave a little hydration free. Okay, so where are you landing? I can still see just a little bit of orange. That would be a brick building right there. What are you? Where am I? I haven't seen that building yet. I might want to come back to that one. It looks a little decayed. The building, that is. But um, that might be worth coming back to. All right, we are heading back into the snowy biome here. And I suspect at this point, I have absolutely lost that supply crate. Um, I didn't mean to hit the button there and draw my bow back. I am kind of running on the road here, except I have a stupid lumberjack zombie behind me. And put a little distance between him and I. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to find this box. I mean, theoretically, it should stand out if it landed in the snowy area just because it's going to be a different color than everything else but if it didn't then i'm going to have some problems finding it potentially there's a metal shed right there have i found that guy before i sure have i thought this area was looking a little familiar to me okay Let's just take a moment here see something over there not it. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm there it is. <laughs> it's about to say I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. Uh prove me a liar. Love it. I think I have a slight problem though. My inventory is completely full, which means I need to drop something if only for a moment. Um let's drop um Let's drop the tape for now because I'm going to make a secure storage chest and we're going to put that on the ground. Okay, number five. We'll put you down right there. And there we go. I can pick my duct tape back up. I'm going to put um, you and you and you and you and you and you in there. You really followed me a long way there, buddy. Props to you for that. Have an arrow in the eye. And have one in the jaw. And have another one in the shoulder, because apparently I missed your face there. Ah, crud. Come on. We can do this. Have a seat. And have a death. A re-death, because this guy was already dead to begin with. Okay. I think I opened up enough inventory spots to pick up whatever might be in here. Ooh, there's parts in here. That's not at all what I was hoping to find. Okay, let's put all of the parts in there because those aren't going to do me any good right now. Uh, antibiotics. Oh man, what do I drop? What do I drop? What do I drop? What do I drop? I guess I can drop the bones for now. I can leave the duct tape. Let's take that and we'll take all of that and we're going to put a map marker right here 
and we're going to hope that I can remember that there is a safe over here. Chest with... Can I do a slash? Stuff. There we go. Chest with stuff. Uh, I should probably do something like put a torch down to... That way I can see it. So let's go ahead and create a torch. And then we'll just go ahead and pop this guy down right there. And we'll pop another one down right there. And that's fine. Okay. So the next order of business, since I inadvertently opened up a couple of inventory slots there, is let's go ahead and grab some clay. I'm going to need a bunch of this because I have some plans for today's episode. So we're going to grab, oh, at least enough to make a forge, but we might or might not. I'm not 100% not sure yet. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. We might or might not end up using that forge that we're able to make. So let's go ahead and bring this up. Let's craft a forge. We have all the stuff to make a forge now, so that's good. And look at that. You can see the torch light kind of burning there. I didn't do a very good job of really highlighting it, but it'll be sufficient for now. I mean, I don't know that I'm going to find a rocket launcher schematic anytime soon anyway, so if I do, then theoretically, I'll remember that's there, or you'll remind me because you're cool that way. So how much clay am I looking at now? 39. I would actually like a little more, especially since I'm about to break this shovel. Oh man, I can't repair it, can I? Can I repair it? No, I need forged iron, so let's take one more swing. So theoretically, I should have... Ooh, that's taken two every swing. Okay, I'm going to stop. That's fine. We don't need any more. We can go ahead and run forward with this. So I'm going to run back to the cabin, and I will rejoin you there. I had someone following me, so theoretically, I've managed to escape them for the time being. I'm going to grab my shotgun right quick, and I'm going to pick it up off the ground. That was really annoying. And let's see. I just want to see here. You are a better receiver than the one I have, so let's go ahead and scrap that. I still need shotgun parts, so I'm not really ready to do anything with the shotgun just yet. Let's go ahead and put all of these miscellaneous gun parts in there. I don't think I have any of the other books. Okay, so I think what we need to do is go ahead and put this forge down. Even though this is not really a permanent location, this is going to be helpful if for no other reason than to just kind of get started on doing some stuff here, you know? Just at the very least, a little bit of something. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn that on. I don't need four minutes worth for all of that, and that's fine. I know that. But I want to get that going while I kind of play with some other stuff here. Like, uh, let's take these guys and go ahead and break them apart. These are really a multiplayer item. I don't need to worry about them for right now. I'm going to put the shotgun shells in there since I don't have a functional shotgun. I also don't have a functional auger. I'm going to put my antibiotics in there because I have the honey. Honey's fine for an early stage infection. Now, I can't make an anvil just yet, but I can do some forged iron. Except I need more clay, so I'm going to have to put... Let's go ahead and put some more clay in there. I think that'll be about right. Because uh, I'm just looking here. Yeah, I have uh, 45, 45. I need twice as much iron. Oh no, I need more iron in there. I'm reading this totally backwards. Go me. Well then here, let's do let's do a little more of that. That'll be fine. Uh, let's see, continuing on here, I need to put some stuff away. Assuming I have any more stuff to put away. I don't really need to carry around a shiv when I have a hunting knife. So we'll go ahead and put the shiv away for now. And then this is kind of my emergency food, so we'll go ahead and put that away. Because I've been carrying around grilled meat until I have enough of this stuff to run around with. Or until I decide to get around and make some bacon and eggs, which would require getting a bunch of eggs, which I don't think I have. Yeah, I, I don't have anything else in any of these guys here. I can make a bunch of coffee. That might be a good idea. That would help warm me up a little bit. Might be something to think about. Let's go ahead and smelt some forged iron, though. 
That's going to take a little while, so that will be a moment. I'm going to let that cook, and I'll rejoin you momentarily. Okay, so we have some forged iron now. Let's go ahead and, before we do anything too crazy, I want to repair this shovel. I don't know how many it's going to take. Just one. Okay, so I knew that was going to lower its quality, and that's that's totally fine there. That's going to be better than what I can make, I believe. So let's go ahead and whip up. Holy cow, that takes a while. A fire axe, and then let's just see if I wanted to do an iron pickaxe. I could make one of those. I need more forged iron, and thankfully, I've been making a little more forged iron, so I'll be able to do that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and turn that guy off. I'm just going to put this stuff in here, and we'll just let it go for the next 40 seconds. I don't really need to worry too much about taking care of all of that. But let's just go ahead and load these two guys up here and just see. I'm looking at the time. It's 8 o'clock. Let's get out of here because there's one more place I would like to head to before the day is out. And that's going to be southeast of here. So let's just kind of run this way. I'm going to try my best to avoid the bear. I don't want to anger the bear. Bears are not happy. They're happy to see me and happy to chew on me. But I don't want to mess with them. I actually left all my food behind. You might have noticed. Oh, that one's better than what I'm wearing. Let's go ahead and do that. I did that in part because I want to maintain a little bit of stealth here. So I think that's going to help not carrying the food. And I actually... Oh, look at that cooking grill. I mean, I can make one. Not a big deal, but that is kind of handy. But I also wanted to, I guess, leave an inventory slot open. And since I filled up on food, I didn't really see it necessary to grab any because this is meant to be a really short trip right here. A um, bunch of bullet casings. I guess I'll take them. I think I have a bunch of flashlights. I don't remember. Maybe not. Maybe I should have taken that crummy one. Uh, we'll take that and another cooking grill and another skull cap because why not? I'm going to keep going southeast here. And yep, I'm going to keep checking these trunks because I am finding really good stuff in them. Yeah, that is that is actually super good stuff there. How are we doing? Pretty good. Now let's check on tools here. I have a really crummy fire axe and a really crummy pick. But I think if I take a quick look here... You are going to do 21 block damage. You're going to do 20 block damage. And then let's just compare to my axe, which I can't even make one this good. 10 block damage. Yeah, so even... <laughs> I can't even make a, a stone axe as crummy as the one that I have. Because that's one I found a, quite a while back. But I can make a crummy fire axe and a crummy iron mining pick that is actually going to be better than said stone axe. So... That's good. I'm I'm totally good with that. Don't get stuck on the rock, man. That That's bad. Ah, good. I wasn't sure that was going to hit him, actually. Here we go. Knock you down. And I totally shot the stone there. That was terrible. Ah, crud. Now I got another one coming in. And yet another one. Ah, are you kidding me? I'm kind of busy, guys. I'm trying to do something here. This is so inconvenient because they're going to start running in about an hour and it might take me a game hour to kill them because my weapons are so terrible. Ah, come on. I think that guy's dead. The other one may be dead depending on if he was one I'd previously injured. Nope. Ah, crud. Yeah, I'm running out of time here. Come on. There we go. That's a shot to the face. Let's check this guy out before he loses his stuff. I'm going to leave the paper. I'm not really concerned about that for right now. Hello, cat. Ah, that was terrible. Come on. These guys are going to be really dangerous if they get to the point where they're running. I mean, it probably wouldn't get any more dangerous than a lumberjack at this point. Aside from dogs and maybe a, a feral or something like that. You are toast. Dance, my friend, and fall. Good. Oh, that was nerve-wracking. Blue. Okay, so here we are at the cabin I found a couple of episodes ago, and you've been kind enough in the comments to let me know that I should probably spend some time looking at it. So here we are. We're going to look at it. And... 
that's probably going to be the fastest way in. I'm just checking a few of these windows here. This is the Mountain Man cabin, I believe. So let's pull out the fire axe. Um, I guess if I really want to be picky here, let's put you down there. I don't really need the fire axe for the moment because these are just crummy windows and they break easily. There we go. Um, just to be on the safe side, let's put that there because it is going to be running time here soon. Actually, oh, look at you. You are much better than the one I have. Oh, that is awesome. Let's take that. And then uh, here, while we're at it, let's go ahead and scrap these guys. We'll scrap and scrap and... Durability on this one's not bad. 237. I, I should probably repair it. And yes, zombies will be running in another two hours. I always get that wrong. I think it used to be 8 o'clock and now it's 10 o'clock or something. Oh, Corpsey has good stuff on him. Um, let's pick up that candle because I'm going to break this table down. There's a wooden block under this table that is rather suspicious looking. So I'm going to get rid of this table because I have a feeling if I don't, that could be bad news. So let's open up this block here and we'll see what's inside. And you would be a mountain man chest. And you're empty. Uh, that kind of hurts. So we have reinforced doors. I guess I could take a look at this. Uh, that's still going to take a while. Um, there were a lot of windows here. Let's, um, let's see. Maybe there'd be a, well, you're going to go, uh, that looks like that's going to take a while. Um, that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and bust this guy out. Ah, oh, that is so much better. Look at that. 20 a pop. I'll take that every day of the week over one a pop. Oh, now I'm wasting my swings. Okay, do that. Um, I need a jump, apparently, because I didn't put that all the way over. So this is probably where that door opened up to. Maybe. Because this is... This is the front door? I think that's where I was? I think that's where I just came from. So... We have... It looks like a forge in here. No tools or anything in it. That's kind of a shame. Not that I was expecting there would be. But I wouldn't be opposed if that were the case. Oh, look at that. Wrenches. We'll take both of those. Why not? We might actually want to take the sink apart, too. Just for kicks. Let's go ahead and eat the peas there. And then what do we have up top? Um, I can take one water right now. I'm just trying to watch my inventory spots just in case something else comes up I would like to take. Let's go ahead and scrap you. And then what do we have here? And some garbage duct tape. Guess I could take the duct tape. That is useful. And then we could actually do this. And we can craft a duct tape with the glue I'm carrying. That way we get at least one more inventory spot open. Um, candy tins. I suppose I could take them, but mm, not overly concerned with that for right now. We'll switch to this guy. Just out of curiosity, I want to see what happens if we take a sink apart. And I'm using a really crummy pipe wrench here, so this isn't really the best item to use, but I'm just going to scrap it when I'm done. So it looks like you're getting a bunch of pipes and that sort of thing. That's not too bad. I'm not going to actually continue taking that apart. I don't really need all those pipes right now. We'll go ahead and scrap this guy. I'm going to keep these two just because I'm not sure I might need an extra. I don't remember if I have an extra off the top of my head. And I think we're going to go ahead and call that good. So, got some trash on the floor. Not going to concern myself with that. Probably have some decisions to make regarding what I'm going to be carrying now. Because I don't think there's any need to carry this guy anymore. Let's pick that up and head home-ish. Home for now, anyway. This isn't going to be a permanent home, but home for now. So I'm going to call this one an episode. On the next one, we're probably going to be working on building. That's my suspicion anyway. Ah, oh, man, nails. I probably need nails, so I'm going to grab them. So you need them for furniture and other stuff. It is night. That means zombies are running. Just like the deer. Ah, uh, bullet tips, huh? 
Bullet casings, bullet tips. Uh, I should probably take all this stuff. Here, let's take those casings, or tips rather, just because I probably should. But I will catch you on another one. Like I said, we'll probably be doing a little building along with, um, I don't know, day five. Is that going to bring a dog horde? I don't remember. I haven't seen one yet, so let's hope not. But anyway, I will catch you on another one. So if you enjoyed this one, do me a favor, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. If you have not already, consider subscribing so you get episodes as soon as they're posted. And do let me know what you're thinking about things as we are continuing along here. I guess I'm going to go ahead and scrap that guy so I can take that. So leave me a comment. I take the time to reply if you do, generally speaking. And I will catch you on another one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.